Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. Uh, in the interim, since the last episode, I gave everybody a little bit of a little bit of a unique color scheme. Hopefully it'll assist with picking people out quickly on the battlefield. Uh, and I think we don't have a whole lot to do here aside from going to the city map, right? We kind of set everything up last time. So, we have four days to accomplish this mission. So it would seem to me that we want to spend as... We want to do side missions as much as possible, right? But I guess every time we do a side mission, we're allowing unrest to raise in the areas where we're not doing things. So unrest will serve as the timer that keeps us from doing as much side stuff to power up as we would want, then. You think I'm grasping this. Okay, so what do we what do we want? Do we want 65, uh, 65 credits or 30 Illyrium more? The cost of enhanced armor is 70 Illyrium. I mean, that sure makes it look like we want the 30 Illyrium, right? Given the uh, increased importance of keeping your agents healthy in this one, uh, compared to normal XCOM where you can like lose rookies and it's sort of whatever, I mean, it's, it's not good, but it's kind of not a big deal. I think we probably, it's probably more important to really safeguard people's health here, so... Um, in XCOM, and especially XCOM 2, um, defense is all about offense. Here, I think we also want some actual defense. So one of 31 PD's informants has gone missing. Providing them with access to our sophisticated tracking equipment could help uh, narrow the search. And this is a blue mission, so these... I mean, this doesn't sound like a thing we would actually do a battle map for. This is backup for a raid. I'm kind of curious. Is this is this a mission we actually go out on? Because, like, how would we provide them our tracking equipment? Okay. Uh, no, we managed to locate and recover the... Th okay. That, that was just the day. Alright, well, 30 Illyrium for us, and unrest in Old Town has indeed the city risen. Is shaken by the untimely loss of our mayor. But with everything what is this, this guy? Been through, I have to believe we'll come out of this stronger than ever. Let's not sugarcoat this, Roger. How can we feel safe when our duly elected officials are kidnapped and assassinated? You're absolutely right. This is a tragedy. We can't forget or forgive. But how do we move on? Tension can be felt on every street and in every home. Together, Glorgo, that's how we move on. Throughout our city's history, we've faced many challenges and threats, but only together can we find peace. Yeah, Glorgo. Uh, okay, so yellow... Hostiles somehow got their hands on an unshackled assembly. The informant who tipped us off believes they're attempting to print and detonate a bomb. Okay, that's a real problem. So this'll this'll zero out unrest here. And also give us intel and also give us some more armor, while this gives us an advanced auto loader. So far we've not really had reloading pro I'm assuming the advanced auto loader just uh, removes the action cost of reloading a gun. It's not really been an issue for us because the engagements are so small scale. So let's go ahead and do this, but we're going to have to take on this thing pretty soon, or else Old Town's going to fall into chaos here. So I don't think there's any reason for us to change anything else. That needs to be stopped. Destroy the device in question when authorized. Keep your distance if you can. All right, so mobility reduced by three. We got to remember that more when we're positioning him. Hopefully, we can get through this one without letting anybody take a scar. That would be a nice change of pace. Hostiles defending the target device. Yeah, we know, man. That's why we're here. Alright, first unit through this entrance is guaranteed to land their shot. So we probably don't actually want it to be Cherub, then, because Cherub's gun is terrible. Uh, Terminal and Verge are wielding the same weapon. I guess it doesn't really matter how we do that. Cherub should go in second, though. And then Verge, and then Zephyr, because Zephyr's attack is going to put her right on top of whoever we aim her at anyway. It's probably the case that we can let her go in last. Well, that door looks like it has a security lock on it, like a, a keypad or something. I hope they get their money back. It says Legionnaire is alert. The surprised guys are not going to take any action at all. The alert guy is going to be able to hunker down or move or something after we breach, right? So maybe we should have him be the one that Zephyr goes after? 
let's um let's start by trying to eliminate some adders. We haven't actually seen them be terribly dangerous in this game so far, but I just have I have bad associations with snake people from regular XCOM where they are terrifying. Uh yeah, let's work that guy. Okay, four is pretty good. That leaves him in a very arrestable place. Oh right, we have levitation. Yo, let's levitate the muton. And does is levitation gonna put him in the neural network? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. And then you can fearless advance this guy, I guess? Because they don't want to fearless advance the snake, because it'll actually kill him. We definitely want to arrest if possible. Ooh, that did not do as much damage as I was hoping. What is... Oh, that's just indication. That is not an action the python is taking. Okay, so it looks like the answer to the neural network question is no. We do not have the neural network thing. Uh, completing sub-objectives grants bonus rewards. I would like to do that, then. Uh, so... We cannot sub... Oh, no, we can subdue that guy. Yeah, absolutely do that. Let's run over there and crack him on the head. Look at that. We did it. I probably... That didn't need to be the priority here. That's alright. Zephyr's tough. Can't contain us. Oof. Yeah, tough. See? Like I said. Alright, so that bruiser is up, and uh, he's gonna be a real problem. So we have a couple of ways we could deal with this. I could just kinetic shield her. You know, I'm gonna do that, because we want to start building up charge anyway, right? So let's kinetic shield her. And then are we just taking a shot at the bruiser, I guess? So we only have one action left. So we, we no longer have the actions to run over and then charge bash. Or I could just prepare. No, let's get him real low. Ooh, or miss him entirely. That's also a possibility. All right, when the shield breaks, Cherub gets charged, which is good for us. We haven't actually like played with that system at all yet, but we know it exists. So Verge... I think I'm gonna have Verge stupor the Legionnaire. You're mine. If we get a double stun here. Okay, awesome. That makes things so much easier. So now everybody else can just focus on getting an arrest off on the other guy, right? I mean, we could actually just have Verge run over and try to start working on arresting this guy too. A quote unquote arresting. Obviously, the way we arrest them, they would all end up in the hospital, but. But handcuffed to the bed, and that counts as an arrest. Uh, if we have her run over and do her normal melee attack, there's a chance she'll kill him. If she hits him for four, it would only actually take him down to one because of the armor, but I don't want to take the chance. So we'll just uh, we'll just double tap him. Stop moving around. Yeah, how dare you? <laughs> All right, and then this guy doesn't actually get a turn. Oh man, that mobility loss. This is like a very serious problem. All right, I'm gonna have you dash over to here, I guess. Shifting position. I mean, it's not gonna matter. After we take this guy down, we're just gonna move to the next breach phase anyway, right? Could not arrest the hostile. <laughs> this dude is tough as hell. Hostile subdued. All right, got there eventually. So is this a single breach point again? Oh, we do have a chargeable wall. Non-aggressive enemies will become surprised. Agent damage is likely no matter how you do this. Uh, I think this is... Boy, a breaching charge is a significant resource, though, huh? I think it's worth coming in from here. Maybe... Do we want to make everybody come in through here? I mean, with the main door 
causing all attacks, all successful attacks to crit. Maybe we do just want to main door everyone and um, and try to defend ourselves by killing all the enemies before they can shoot us. Yeah, maybe we do that instead. Save our breaching charge. So again, I think I'm going to have Zephyr go in last. Especially with the injury. Stay behind me. And with Cherub going first, we can um, we can get that kinetic shield up early. So there is one aggressive enemy. Unfortunately, in a pretty tough position to deal with. Uh, levitation, though, right? We could we could do levitation. So I guess I should just do damage where I can with Cherub. Okay, that's perfect. Now. So Paladin over there, the crit is probably, the crit, the crit is almost certainly not going to be enough to kill him. We could try to crit down, boy, that adder, it's going to be a tough hit. That guy's getting levitated, so maybe I try the other muton here? Oh, that sucks. That really sucks, actually. Alright, this guy gets levitated. And then you... Maybe we have you run upstairs? Oh, I thought there was a second guy up. I guess she can't see the second guy? Alright, I think this makes sense. It's a very aggressive position. Target in sight. Bust it up. Alright, it is a lot of enemies. So can I kinetic shield? Oh, she's out of range. I was absolutely gonna kinetic shield Zephyr. Uh well, okay, we can team up Zephyr to get her out of there before. Cause it looks like that might be a necessity. <laughs> And then, that being the case, this is not what I wanted. We could just have you move up to here and take a pot shot at someone. He has maintained his um, his point of charge, so I can't I can't have him do this in a way that actually matters at all. It is a guaranteed four damage though. If I run up to here, I have I have short cover. This guy's taking a significant amount of damage. This might be the right play. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Let me try again. Because otherwise, it's it's hard to uh, it's hard to be sure that we're gonna get that guy. And then yeah, you can fall back to here, get the arrest, and be behind. I'm assuming that's proper high cover. Yeah. Okay. Subdued hostile. That shuts down a nice early enemy. You don't Rocket quite move target. to the flank. Oh. Look at that. They're smart enough to use the environment. Uh, feels like I should maybe throw up a safeguard, right? Gremlin on the way. Really yeah. trying hard to avoid a scar here. Just a scratch. And then, as much as I maybe don't love it, we have to at least consider trying to kill this guy. Verge will be up next, and he'll be able to hopefully prevent somebody from doing something dumb. Yeah. Alright, take the bad shot. Okay. Couldn't expect much more than that. Well, that guy's put himself in a position to be arrested. Ooh. That was my cover. Well, why don't we go stupor on... Do I want it to be stupor or do I want it to be berserk? We definitely want to negatively affect one of these two. Because their shot on Cherub is all of a sudden a lot better than it was a moment ago. Let's make it the Legionnaire. These, uh, the Muton guns are pretty serious. Single stun. Well, I mean, it's better than the 
It's better than the thing that often seems to happen with the other uh, power, which is that they are not—they don't lose any actions at all. But, you know, we have until we have everybody's turn to get an arrest off on Legionnaire. I'm gonna actually go battle madness on uh, this guy. Unleash your frustration. Let's just get some additions to the uh, get some additions to the network here, right? You're Wait. still in the fight. When we battle madness, doesn't it usually cause them to do something immediately? Did that guy just completely resist? Okay, no, now he's No, he just completely resisted, because that's a positive thing he just did there. Well that sucks. That is definitely going to complicate matters considerably. Uh, well, we can't afford to... S well, I can't afford not to stabilize you, can I? Alright, Zephyr is shrouded. So what is this, um... I mean, I have a sense. It probably makes it harder for people to shoot you. Can I... F1? No, it used to be the case in the XCOM games. You could F... You click F1. Here we go. 25 dodge and 25 defense. Okay, so the shroud is nice. Uh, you'd run over and get an arrest off. We could put a lot of damage on that Legionnaire. The thing is, Terminal can be the one who does the arrest here, right? There's no reason it has to be me right now. So let's do this, and then we'll, we'll, we'll momentum move to a safe location afterward. Okay, Root is not awesome. Uh, where do I momentum move to? Probably someplace with high cover, right? Like, this isn't bad. I think it's far enough away that it's hard for enemies to get a flank off, except for that guy who we hope will not have a turn. He's actually pretty tough for anybody else to deal with, though. But it's a, it's a tough position for all the other enemies to deal with. We'll just have to hope this works out. So he moves into the Shrouded... Boy, they do not miss, do they? Alright, so Terminal does have to do the Subdue. We can throw Safeguard on Verge first, though. They'll be fine. Refreshing. Oh, camera, what are you doing? Okay, apparently I do not, in fact, have the movement range necessary for this. And despite the fact that that guy is not in cover in any meaningful way, given his size, uh, I can't shoot for crap. So... She is a single tile of movement away from being able to get the subdue off. Oh, uh, that sucks. We could just overwatch him. But he's not going to move. He's going to sit still and then fire, right? I'm going to overwatch him. There's a chance he'll try to run out for the flank. There's a chance that by doing this we'll prevent him from running out for the flank and maybe he'll just miss his shot. Going there now. Oh, he just ran out. Well, that was a not an ideal plan. Dubious value, I would say. All right, so this trooper here has not been has not been added to my network. My mind over yours. Be real cool to land a double stun here. Nope. Okay, and then... Do we just shoot at this guy? I mean, odds are pretty good. We could probably finish off that Legionnaire. I should try for this. Ah, that sucks. It's a real bad time to miss. Okay, could have been worse, though. The root actually did some decent work there. Ooh, my cover. Okay, so Zephyr, I mean... Feels like the Subdue makes a lot of sense here. We're giving we're giving this trooper up close one action to use. But I don't I don't know that I could necessarily do anything about that anyway. I'm very far away from him. Hostile subdued. Let's just take an enemy off the table.
Oof. Well, she's up. So, you know, that's all right. Um, do we safeguard self and then run to cover? I'm assuming that we want to focus on popping the mind-melded guy rather than shooting the guy who has had the meld done to him. Reinforcements, man. Man, I do not have time for reinforcements. Yeah, I guess that's a thing I could do. That can be Verge's problem. I think I really do need to make it to cover and, and throw a heal up. Especially if there are reinforcements coming in, it's pretty dangerous for us to be sitting right there. Alright, so do you want to move to a new position? You can move to here and still, still see that, right? It's not obvious to me whether or not we'll be able to... I, we should be able to. The, uh, the debris does not have a targeting, a targeting indicator the way enemies do. Okay, four damage. That's not too bad. That dude's going to burn to death real soon, which is also fine. I'm going to assume that um, subduing him would not actually subdue him on account of he's on fire. So he'll probably die on his turn. Just have her punch this thing? I mean, it doesn't seem great. Smashing extremity. The camera needs to zoom around less. It's happening because I'm like slightly mousing over icons as I'm moving the moving from place to place. It definitely should not happen unless you actually stop for a significant amount of time on an icon. Uh, I mean, this is a pretty a pretty solid cover situation right here. Or, you know what? I'm just gonna have her stay put and parry because she'll probably draw some fire that way at least. I'm real curious what's gonna happen when the the mind melted guy burns to death. Alright, so we absorb that dude's attack. This guy is number four, number three is you. So you have a point of armor and enough health that a point of armor means that I cannot kill you with a single shot. Well, that being the case, what is it that I want to do here? I mean, what's my what's my chance to hit you? 32. Feels pretty bad. I definitely need to move somewhere. Maybe uh, maybe what I should do is... Oh, I c Again, one point of movement short of getting to a place that would actually be good to be in. Uh, so the paladin's dead. The trooper's a problem. As far as we know, they don't have grenades or anything. So I think I'm going to move to here. Gotta get moving. And then, do we want to try rolling the dice on kind of a weak shot? I could just safeguard myself again. I think I just safeguard myself again. She goes from she goes from possibly dying on the enemy turn on on a single enemy shot to definitely not dying on a single enemy shot. That seems valuable. And then I'm gonna give. Let's go battle madness on this dude and stupor on the closer one. See what kind of action efficiency we can buy ourselves here. Okay, the berserk did land this time. Target engaged. Not, not terribly useful. Give me your mind. Okay, double stun. Fantastic. So this guy does nothing. That guy burns to death. Burning to death. Okay, instantly kills the guy who was mind belted too. Excellent information. Uh, you are going to finish the mission objective. Splintering. <laughs> Punch the assembler until it is no more. It, it, wow, it didn't explode or anything, huh? Okay, so what does clear chemical production actually mean? I, 
I would take that to mean remove all of the enemies, but that seems like it is relatively likely to be impossible. Right, because they're going to just keep generating new enemies all the time. I guess they only sent in... Was the Contain was the target. reinforcement group only two guys? If it's only two guys, we could take down two guys fast enough. Maybe it won't be such a problem. Uh, I mean, we could run right over to him and shoot him. And then probably have Verge finish the job pretty easily. Yes, I know. Actually, I know action's still available. It's a little silly that that was an 86% and not a 100%. Subdued the hostile. Okay. Uh, this will give you cover from some locations. The route is fine. I think you just stay put in parry, right? Parry seems parry seems like a fine solution to this problem. Ammo's nearly out. All right, this is not a real problem. You are fine. Well, we managed to put it back together there after kind of a rough start. Another collar for the medic. Not ideal. Uh, so two people were gravely wounded. But we did manage to get our intel. I don't actually know how intel works. <laughs> I don't know what we're spending the intel on, but it seems like a good idea to accumulate resource, right? Alright, so we got ourselves a plated vest. We killed some unrest. We completed some stuff. Reports confirm significant unrest in City 31. Without the city's trust, Reclamation cannot investigate effectively. Anything we can do about that? Results can earn back the public trust. We're here to keep the city safe, so there's no better way than doing just that. The city council has approved Reclamation's use of field teams. This will keep a lid on unrest, but with community support, they can do much more. Okay, so... District unrest is how we tell uh, how we tell how bad things are getting. It makes missions harder as it rises. Okay, that's good to know. And when it fills up, it starts to add city anarchy. If city anarchy gets out of control, you lose. That's the that's the you lose the game bar up there. Uh, more info. Unrest rises when its targets are ignored. We can't respond to everything, so there's always going to be unrest rising. But sometimes we'll get missions that will clear it, so we can we can handle this. When any district is at max unrest, one bar is added to City Anarchy each day. Okay, so... We could, theoretically, let the Old Town situation get a little bit better. Oh, please build a field team. Uh, well... I mean, here, right? This will help us to fight unrest. There are three types of field teams, security, finance, and technology. Each is focused on a different resource. You'll be able to upgrade field teams to increase their income value and unlock other effects or switch to a different type. They cost intel and increase in price as you build and upgrade more, more of the same type. Okay, so this is what we are accumulating intel for. They will give us income. So finance teams... How do we read this? It, it does the first, it does the top thing at first, and then we can upgrade it to do more of this stuff. And eventually they, eventually these two decrease unrest. These ones don't, but they give us other stuff. Uh, well, my feeling is that credits are the resource that we're tightest on. I guess we're about to be completely out of Illyrium, though. Maybe a tech team is exactly what we need. Yeah, free field team. Do that thing. And then we have to unlock the ability to upgrade them. I mean, there's a button right here. It looks clickable. I'm assuming if I... Okay. So we do have some intel. You can build field teams. Yeah, I, I know. I just We just interacted with that. So each one beyond that is 50, except, yeah, 65, because it's the same type. I mean, it seems like we want to get our, our income up right away, right? 
So maybe we build a security team somewhere. Although if we're going to build a security team, maybe we don't want to do it there. Field team abilities are now available to be used on the city map. It, this, it feels like this uh, tutorial flow is maybe a little wrong. Should it be giving me a different tutorial every time I zoom in and then back out? The Vigilance ability is ready immediately, which can lower the unrest in a targeted district. More unique field team abilities can be unlocked by upgrading and purchasing more field teams. Okay. So we should probably put a new field team in a place where there actually is unrest already, right? So let's do it here. Get more intel income. Uh, yes, I know. Intel is how you do the thing that we just did. And then we may as well build one more, right? Uh, my guess is we're going to need a field team here as well. And I think I'm going to just go ahead and make it another security. Make sure our intel income is solid. Situation target to reveal the scavenger market has appeared on the map. Uh, oh, yeah, that's true. Contact the scavenger market. It's like XCOM Supply, but the items it offers are rarer and more powerful. The market's only available for one day at a time, so you don't want to do this unless you have the, supply, uh, the credits already to buy a lot of cool stuff. Alright, I will think about that in a second here. Hold on. Uh, so your training is complete, your scar is gone. Can we send in Cherub, and will doing so... Did he get a new scar? No, we definitely want to remove this scar, though. Hold on a second, actually. Before we do that, uh, he gets a promotion. Enemies focus their fire on Cherub, ignoring other XCOM units at, at this breach point. Block all damage and gain one charge for each attack. Okay. That's an interesting breach ability. Uh, but what I'm really curious about is the scar that she picked up. So Gremlin heals all allies at their breach point for 2 HP. And you have also lost mobility. That's a little bit less bad for her than it is for him because he wants to be charging people all the time. So I think we'll prioritize removing his scar. Yeah. Oh wait, sorry, not that. This. And obviously it'd be really cool to not have to be removing scars all the time. So I gotta be a little more on top of that. Alright, over at assembly, we can now equip weapon mods. Let's get a start on fancy armor. I do wish I had an agent to assign to this. Can we not put the robot on it? Think of how much think of how much research he could do. He's a robot. Alright, I think. The question is, do we want to start buying this stuff? Uh first reload is free. Miss shots still deal one damage, so all this stuff does exactly what it does in normal XCOM. Or do we want to save credits and just go find the market? I mean, my concern is that 65 credits might not be enough to buy stuff that is cool and rare. Hmm. We go get a bunch of intel. So what are these field team abilities? Vigilance reduces district unrest. Quarantine freezes the district unrest. We can't do this yet. Dragnet will require somebody to get to rank three. And the major crimes task force is a real that's a that's a real problem. Alright, I'm gonna Vigilance Old Town. And that'll buy us a little bit more time to um to mess around and earn stuff. Looks like for right now that's the only district that's actually gaining anything, right? Let's go contact the scavenger market, even though it might not be useful with only 65 credits, because this way at least we can get an idea of how many credits we do need to have before it's sensible to do this. Uh, scavengers. Hello, Chimera Squad. I'm the proprietor of the Viper's Nest, a humble establishment in the fringe. As I'm sure you know, Dangerous tech from the advent days still turns up from time to time. The city pays well to anyone who turns it over, so I hire a network of scavengers to find the stuff. Oh, and I occasionally hear of opportunities that may interest you. If I do, I'll be in touch. She, you know, for a snake person, she looks a lot like Mr. Burns. Okay, so actually, you buy stuff at the scavenger market with Intel, which makes our um, our early investment in Intel seem even better. Okay. That's a thing we can interact with later when we have some resources, then. 
So, city map. We could do another side mission. Oh no, today's the day we gotta we gotta step up. So let's do that then. And we do have our uh, we have our fancy scope that we got that we should equip on somebody. Uh, this district is the target of an active hostile operation. We know this. Let's do the thing. Can we not? Right, we don't know enough to shut it down. Unrest will increase while it is active, completing lead Oh, so this isn't a thing I have to do within four days. It's a thing that takes four days for it to happen. Okay, so... Cutting Edge is intel and also reduces unrest in this area. That seems like the way to go, then. It's an Illyrium-powered device used in a string of recent burglaries. We should definitely seize it. Yeah, that seems like a job for us. Sometimes we need to infiltrate hostile territory. This usually means we're after important contraband. Grab the contraband and get out. Do not Who gets the around. scope? Let's put it on Verge's rifle, maybe? Oh no, we got a we got a plated vest, not a scope. What did I why was I thinking I don't know. I don't know why I'm thinking anything ever. Uh, if we're gonna do a plated vest thing, we should probably do it on Godmother, who's gonna be who is strongly incentivized to be right up on top of people anyway. Uh, cause... Zephyr runs in on people, but she also gets out. Yeah, I think this is reasonable. We don't have... Do we have any other... We don't have any other additional items to equip, right? Okay. Alright, I think we're good to go. Good-ish to go. As good as we're getting, anyway. Why was I thinking we had a scope? Was I look? I don't know. Contraband confirmed on site. You're good to go. All right, we'll just go in through the door. They'll never suspect that. The last unit through this entrance is marked until the end of the encounter. We get automatic Overwatch after the breach. That's pretty cool. So we probably want to have Godmother lead with her plated vest and everything, and then. Don't know that it matters too too much what order we do these in, except that I I probably want Zephyr last. Reaching. It might be the case that having Zephyr go last is not a good idea because of the fact that it puts her really late in the turn order. But I do like seeing how everybody's shots resolve first. So do we want to? I think we want to take that shot, right? That guy's the only really dangerous one. And if we land this shot, then we know we don't have to spend, um, well, we probably don't have to spend, um, levitation on this guy. I suppose it's possible we hit him for only four. No, okay, she got it. She did the thing. So, do we want to levitate? We could cancel somebody's alertness and prevent them from taking a better position. You know what, I think we're gonna, no, we're not gonna levitate that guy, I'm just gonna have... Um, I'm just gonna have a punch on that guy. Let's levitate you. We'll keep you out of the, uh... Keep you out of the fight for another action. Uh, you go ahead and light this guy up. And fearless advance on the other snake. It is a little bit of a shame that fearless advance doesn't trigger a, uh, momentum move, though. Okay. Evac as soon as you have it. Got you. Okay, so don't try to fight everybody. I won't get in your way. So the bruiser is up next. I mean, we have a pretty good shot on him right here. I could try to just drop him. Honestly, I think this is probably the right move. I mean, I guess I should be trying to advance though, right? We could run inside, take up some cover, and then just drop him. So we gotta make it all the way around. Actually, I wonder if moving to here is the right play. He'll have high, he'll have low cover from me, but being adjacent to a guy with a shotgun is a pretty big boost to your damage output or your uh, your aim. And this at least gets us in the direction of the objective. Yeah, that's still all right. Ooh, yeah. nope, insufficient. Wow. Good shot. Uh, here's the thing about uh, 88%. It is not 
you might look at that number and think, hey, that's pretty high. It's probably good enough, but 100% is good enough. The other numbers, less. Less so. Alright, let's rob you of, hopefully, two actions. I'll take one, though. One would at least mean he's shooting at people in high cover. Alright, so this, the close adder is the one who's up next. We could, I really wish you weren't right there. This adder has really, really good cover. One thing we could do is just throw a safeguard on Zephyr and then move up a little bit. Move up to here. I also could just move up to here and then overwatch, try to catch that adder moving out to get the shot, because I bet he doesn't have a shot on Zephyr from where he is right now. Then again, the SMG is probably not going to kill him in one hit anyway. Yeah, I'm just going to move to here and safeguard Zephyr. Everybody else has high cover, so... Twenty defense is equivalent to low cover, assuming things work the same way. Okay. Well, Verge does have a med. Can't remember. Yes, good. Good time to disengage there. Uh, can I? Yeah, this is what I really want. Demolishing. Okay, big stun. And then the momentum move will allow us to grab this thing. Let's go to the safest position way. with it. Man, she is good at objectives. Yes, get the thing. Of course get the thing. I guess it, it that screen could have told me that there was more stuff. Obviously. It didn't, but there, there could have been something. Uh, well... This Legionnaire, we gotta start we gotta start work on this Legionnaire. I could just throw a flashbang in. Obviously, like every every tool that we spend is a significant amount of money. He's still double stunned, right? He hasn't actually Yeah, his turn hasn't occurred yet. We could run in man, I wish we were just a little bit faster. We could run into Running do just to right here and trust the shotgun to do shotgun job. I mean, we do have Verge up after this. Alright, you know, I don't feel great about it. Uh, and then we're <laughs> just gonna, despite what I just said about not feeling great about it, we're just gonna do exactly the same thing to this adder. There's at least a chance this will leave this guy alive. I guess we're about to... We have two people taking actions here, though. We could totally just double subdue this guy. Because there's very little point in any of us trying to escape until... Until Zephyr can get out, right? The safeguard remove poison? Yeah. Can I... Yes, I can hit you from where I'm standing. So, safeguard self... Okay. Zephyr's gonna get to the exit now, and then we're gonna withdraw everybody else. Yeah, Zephyr's just gonna run through, punch that guy in the head, and use him to escape. Splintering. Man, she is awesome. Okay, busted his weapon. That will do. Do I want to... Oh, it won't let me... Oh, yeah, because I spent the action, right? I was going to say, do I want to just run over here and parry to draw their attention? But never mind. I believe everybody else is fast enough to make it out in one move. Uh, Verge is doing some kind of victory dance over in the corner, maybe slightly prematurely. Ooh, not ideal. Yep, that right there is why snake, why I fear snake Moving people so much in, uh, in XCOM. No ammo. He managed to fix his weapon up. So I think the move is... Godmother moves out to here, which she can do in a single move, and then shoots the python off of Verge. I'm pretty sure we have to move... 
Yeah, like we we have to make this move. That's that's a no-brainer. No, nope, not him. All right. And I only I only graze you. You're fine. There is another snake moving on him right away, which could be real bad. Nope, he managed to miss the bite. All right, so Verge gets Verge gets to come and arrest this dude. Subdued the hostile. All right, and as long as this bruiser doesn't do anything horrifying, I think we're clear. So, do I wanna? I think we could just escape her. We probably just escape her. Virgin Godmother are close enough to getting out that I don't think they're in any real danger here. Cover me while I reload. Uh, it is a shame. I mean, we can we can move to here and take a shot and still run. So I, I can try to bring down the adder so that Virg is definitely going to get his turn. Oh right, no bullets. Never mind. Evacuating. Good luck, Virg. Okay, that doesn't matter. He's immune to poison because of the uh, the med kit. Just holding one gives you poison immunity. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. That was a cleanish mission. Nobody got wounded more than just wounded. And not so good on the captures. So we always we always have a chance of getting 20 intel. It seems like seems like that's not always going to be possible, at least not right now, given the relative weakness of our team members. Alright, we got 55 total intel, minus 2 unrest. It seems pretty good, man. Great and Cherub has cleared has his star, or scar, rather. Because they actively cultivate sympathizers. Until you find a way to reduce Grey Phoenix's influence, they'll always be two steps ahead. Okay, so... We know that. That's something. What does that make our next job, then? Oh, hey, new recruit. Awesome. Uh, so we do not have the option of taking the Explody guy, which is a real shame. Ooh, we can get a Muton or a, uh, or a Snake guy, though. So Axiom is high damage, cover destruction. Okay, that's like explosions. Moving enemies and allies around and poison. So you can grab a unit and pull them into melee range, can be used on enemies and allies, and then also we have access to the bind thing. And we have an agent with some innate dodge, which is kind of cool. Or patchwork, what's your deal? You have a gremlin, uh, you're the attack hacker. You hack stuff open, you can shock people. The attack chains to nearby enemies, and if this works like it did in XCOM 2, the jolt damage is guaranteed. It's very, very nice to have a, a source of... 100% guaranteed damage that you can use against people who are behind cover. Honestly, they all seem pretty compelling. I think this is the role that we don't really have covered right now. I mean, we don't have we don't have good cover destruction either. So you're but you're kind of a melee guy, right? Yeah, you run up and smash things and chance to burst burst through a door breach with a chance to panic nearby enemies is pretty cool. I'm actually really torn. I think these are both super cool. Let's take Torque. The, the moving people around just seems really valuable. Torque. Whisper. Are we good? I don't know. Did you get a lobotomy? Can't say that I did. Then no, we aren't good. Well, at least things are back to normal. All right. I'm curious about what prompted that exchange. Also, how Torque speaks so clearly and humanly with that face. You would think that would have an effect on... Eh, you know, whatever. Alright, so what's your... What other, what other stuff do you have? You are adaptable. Okay, so you can enter through uh, vents. That's also excellent, and I definitely would have taken you for that alone if I had realized. Okay. Cool. Well, let's, um... Let's maybe remove the other scar, because hobbled seems really, really bad. And then we have enough agents now that we can have somebody on assembly or spec ops duty. Let's put Torque out in the field because I'm curious. I want to I wanna try Torque out. And we could throw Cherub on assembly, cut this research in half. I know doing spec ops stuff is also important. Um, just like materials. But I really want to get this armor research done. 
Okay, so there are new supply... Oh, promotion. Let's make this a priority. So you could get plus 5 aim and plus 10 crit for each enemy in the network instead of just the plus... Was he getting plus 10 aim now? Yeah, so it reduces the aiminess but adds the crit. Or... Enemies in the neural network that would be killed... Oh, yo, this seems awesome! This seems like a really, really good way to get a lot more intel. I do like the extra crit, but to be perfectly honest, I don't think it's going to be worth the aim loss a lot of the time. We're going to take Collar for sure. Now it's a real shame that Levitation doesn't put people in the network, though. So we're going to want Verge, like, second in the in the Breach lineup a lot, then. We want him right up in there. Maybe even first, because we want to make sure he can go early in the round to add people to the network. And then you're doing your thing. Yeah, I guess it's just uh, city map time, right? New supply items. Are you sure? These all look like familiar supply items. I guess we can actually buy one now, though. We're not really having problems with anybody's mag. I guess Godmother's gun only has um, three shots. So I could see that being a problem some of the time. But we might be better off giving her an auto loader over an expanded magazine to solve that problem. I think for the moment, maybe we just maybe we just hold off. It's like some tracer rounds would be cool. We could get some trank rounds, I guess. We didn't spend our breaching charge. We still have a breaching charge. I'm gonna hold off on on spending for the moment. Let's hit the city map. So we do have the intel to install. A team of the type we haven't had yet. What day? It's Thursday. So yeah, it would be good to build them now. Payment is about to occur. And Riverside seems like the right spot to do it, right? Put them in a place where there is already a uh, already a thing. So now we have quarantine available. We can freeze unrest in a district. Right now, it doesn't make sense to do... Wait, what is, what is the implication here of this glowing but not having any visible change on it? And I guess we could do this track ally th or alloy thieves thing. But I kind of want to get unrest down here. We could spend our quarantine here and take that moment to go and track the allo alloy thieves. But I think we want to do this. I think we want to just drop this. We'll save the quarantine. For a situation where it's maybe a little bit more necessary. Alright, so... Yeah, go locate some relief supplies. I don't think we need to change anything up. We have our breach. Uh, I guess we could have... Somebody take the... Um, I'm, yeah, make items available. Because we have that, um, that card, right? Oh, did we have a second? Is the breaching charge not actually expended? Charge is one. I thought we had spent the breaching charge we started with. We definitely have a second one. Well, we don't need to bring the second one, probably. Okay, I think we can roll like this. I'm very excited to see Torque in action. I think they've done a good job of um, making making most of the enemy, the, most of the um, extra agents you can hire, like, immediately exciting looking on that menu. We know I have felt pretty torn both times. Supplies, then repackages them for the city's alien populace. This buys them goodwill, which lets them operate in the open. Recover the supplies. Gray Phoenix won't hold another community hostage. All right, first unit through this entrance is guaranteed to land their shot. So it does seem like we'd want that to be Godmother. The shotgun is very powerful. And then we have Verge go in so that he's nice and high in the turn order. We'll run Zephyr a little earlier so that she can get herself out of the situation she gets herself into. Breach, breach, breach. All right, so we have a guaranteed hit here, right? We probably want to hit whoever this... Yeah, we could do a levitation, but I think it's better we just clean this guy up now. And then... We have a lot of people who are alert. Do we want to stop one of them from acting? I think we can probably solve that adder problem with um, with Zephyr, because she's all the way over there on, the, on that side of the map by herself. 
So yeah, I'm just going to levitate one of these guys. I don't think it terribly matters which one. Just stop one of them from moving in on us. Oh, interesting. Fearless Advance takes us to a real bad location here. It's unfortunate that there's no way to know ahead of time which enemies an agent will and will not be able to see based on the order that they enter. Uh, I guess just go ahead and do it. And then you have a normal rifle. I think I'm going to just roll the dice on this. Or we could rush to cover. Now, I'm going to just roll the dice on this, because getting rid of that adder would make things really simple, right? If all the enemies are grouped up in one corner of the map. Ah, that's a shame. Boy, that fearless rush is leaving you right out in the open, though, huh? We're probably going to have to use team up there. Okay, so that guy's right next to an explodable. Uh, I think we probably do, in fact, want to team up. I know, spending it on the first turn of, the, of Mission's first encounter is not 100% ideal. So, I think we're probably not going for an arrest on that guy, because that, that seems like a real problem. Uh, right, yeah, there's no way for me to generate any kind of cover at all. And we can't dash over to arrest this guy, because he's he's really far away, so... We're just going for the shotgun shot? Like, where, boy, where do we even go? I just, there's some cover here, I guess? Yeah, this is not ideal. We could have Zephyr put this guy down. I'd rather, I'd rather Zephyr try to arrest the snake on the other side of the room, which I think she could do. Sorry, I probably should have, like, told you to back up or something. Yeah, I like this a lot more. Subdued hostile. And then Verge is... We could combat Berserk... I probably I would like to stupor the paladin. He's the only person that we can engage with. Now let's stupor the paladin. Not guaranteed to hit, by the way. He's got like willpower. And then can I shoot that trash barrel? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, that was um. Did I kill a civilian just now? I might I might have blown up a. Listen, explosions are hard to control. It's not my fault, the explosion went off book. Not doing its part. Oof, man. Low cover. Not really all that effective. So it, really, it really is like XCOM. Alright, the good news is... Ooh, let me hold off on good news. Alright, yeah, the good news is... We now have quite a while before we have to deal with the next enemy. So, bind just makes enemies unable to act completely. So she could go for a bind on... Uh, she'd go for a tongue pull on, I'm assuming, only friendlies, because she's super far away from everything else. Yeah, this is awkward. If I move up to here, I'll have some bad shots on some people, at least. I mean, obviously, I'd love to arrest that guy, but I'm worried that that's unrealistic. I'm gonna move to here. If I if I move to here, I'm pretty sure he's gonna get the benefit of his low cover against me. If I shoot him from right here, obviously I'm gonna have a range issue, but I will also have a flank. I'm gonna I'm gonna just go for this. Wow, he's getting his low cover here. Really, I mean he's the, the low cover is just like not on the side that I'm aiming at him from at all. So I'm very surprised by that. I, mean, I guess go for it. All right, you managed to get there anyway. So now we have a good long while here to put together some uh, some 
uh, some encounter ending injuries. I think probably we just run right up on the paladin and let him have it. And then we can have, um, can maybe have Zephyr, Zephyr stun the legionnaire, or at least attempt to stun the legionnaire. Do something to the legionnaire. Maybe I want to keep my cover. What is the, uh, what does the cone look like? Okay, so it's, it's pretty short. And it goes out four tiles. So if I'm right here, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I won't be able to reach that guy. I think I'm going to take the non-flank shot here, just in case we can't keep them both under control. So Godmother still has a little bit of cover. Okay, so that guy is easy to uh, easy to take care of. I don't think I want to do that though. I think I want to do this. Shattering. Okay, weapon disabled. Weapon disabled is pretty good. Now we're definitely gonna have some problems related to uh, how far back everybody else is. move you to here. We can at least use psychic powers on the muton. I'm gonna I'm gonna battle madness him. In the hopes that he will just shoot his friend in the back, which feels pretty like a pretty horrible thing for a police officer to do. Oh right. All I did was all I did was have him fix his weapon. That's a you That's a bad. Yep, yeah, I did that's that's my fault, everybody. Sorry. <laughs> I screwed that up in every kind of way. Uh, so let's have you... Tongue pull automatically binds... No, it does not. Oh, but a bind is a free action. So we could run up here and tongue pull the paladin the and exercise. bind him. And we're gonna Good we're gonna test this. We're gonna get a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, practice with this thing. So yeah, let's go for this thing. Don't struggle. Okay, and the bind knocks them unconscious. No ammo. Well, that's nice. Hostile subdued. And so we're going into the next part a little damaged. It's important to remember that Verge has a medikit. It's not every day you crash a back alley wrestling match. What's reclamation policy on alley wrestling? You're still not allowed to compete. Oh. Yeah, even with a mask. Should have read the fine print. I, I appreciate those little character moments. So, successful en shots on enemies will crit, but last unit gets rooted. I, we could just have that be Verge, and it probably won't affect him too much. Or we could blow our charge and get a bunch of surprise. And if there's any aggressive enemies, we could just levitate him or something. Let's go ahead and use the charge. I'm a little worried about the snare thing. So, Godmother, then... Then Verge, then... Then Zephyr, then Torque. I think. Reaching now. We definitely want Godmother right up at the top of the initiative order. Okay, there is one aggressive enemy. He is maybe killable right away, or maybe maybe we should just levitate that guy. We got an adder over there. Okay, so I think that guy's probably getting rushed. Let's just drop this Legionnaire, probably. We'll levitate the aggressive one. Oh, maybe this is the time for Alpha Strike. We don't know exactly how many engagements are going to be in this mission. So fire the shotgun during the breach and take your turn earlier on the timeline and also gain one bonus action. So, when we think we're going to do Alpha Strike, we should not have her in front, necessarily. Yeah, let's um let's just take out the the guy that's right here, probably. Or at least get him real low. And then she'll get an extra action on her first turn. We'll levitate this dude. 
Fearless advance the adder in the back? Yeah. I think that makes sense. And then you don't shoot that guy. That guy's pretty much under control. Oof. Okay, I do wish you could have, like, gotten next to the wall, at least. We have two rounds to collect the evidence. That's fast. Um, so obviously... Well, Godmother has an extra, uh, an extra action this turn, right? I think. It's not actually reflected on her... Well, we did use the ability, right? She doesn't have any effects showing. I'm a little worried that I'm going to run over here and do this, and she's just going to be left out there to swing in the breeze. I'm going to have her commit real deep, though. We're going to try this. Yeah, so she still has an action. Okay, that's a weird thing for the camera to do at this moment. Ooh, that's bad. Yeah, Zephyr um, choosing to stand in the single worst tile that she could stand in, definitely pretty bad for us. It also, it hurts a little bit that you can't, um, you can't tell what the order the enemies are going to act in is during Breach, because like that would, going after the adder who moves earlier in the turn order is the obvious right move there, and unfortunately we weren't allowed to do that because we didn't know who it was. Uh, boy. Well. How do we survive? I can't attempt to subdue on the on the enemy who we should attempt to subdue on. And you, I can't do it from a position where I, I will have any cover. Yeah, this sucks. This is re <laughs> this is real bad. All right, I think going for the stabilize right now is probably a bad idea. Let's stupor. This guy? Because we're not going to have people in position to um, to do the thing to him that we need to do to him this turn. Thanks to having to stabilize and everything. My mind over yours. Okay, we got the double. And then we have... You Unleash go berserk. I was kind of hoping he would just shoot his friend through the wall, through the doorway there, but no such luck. Well, you got some move, huh? Alright, she is, in fact, still bleeding out. That's accurate. Or bleeding out. That's accurate. Uh, so the paladin's going to be a problem. We can just roll up on him and bind him. Somebody's got to save Zephyr. So if we do roll up on him and bind him, then we have Godmother finish off this Legionnaire, or, or run, or probably run over and take out this, uh, this adder over here if possible. I think this is actually the right move. So does bind, is bind necessarily a turn ending action? Well, yeah, I guess it would be because then you're, you're in the bind state. So if it's a free action, am I allowed to roll over here and then shoot at somebody and then bind this guy? I guess let's find out, because if we could take out this dude right now... I mean, maybe I should probably just shoot at the adder, right? Okay, and then... No, I do not get to bind after an attack, even though bind is a free action because attack is a turn-ending action. Okay, well. 
So you are going to get your turn. If I go for the Subdue, Subdue does 2 to 3 damage, so it's not guaranteed. Maybe I should just do the thing that's guaranteed. Even though, obviously, get, getting the arrest is um, better for us both morally and in terms of resources. Uh, let's just take the, the sure thing, because the situation's tight enough. I think, I think we have to do the sure thing. Alright, and then Verge. Verge is in a little bit of a rough spot. Verge has a lot of stuff he needs to do. Uh, but I think the only thing he really can do is just hit the subdue here. So we can we can use a, a power on somebody first. Can I attempt to stupor the paladin? Give me your mind. Okay, great. That's actually phenomenal. And then go ahead and get your subdue. Subdue the hostile. That's what that guy gets. Alright, we do have to actually save Zephyr. That could be worse. Demolition can't actually hurt us, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you're the one who's rescuing Zephyr? Okay, that got a little close. It was a little close. And then we could... Tongue pull the Paladin. I mean, he doesn't get to do anything on his next turn. But we definitely want to just arrest that Legionnaire. Alright, and then we bind him up. Okay. So that's that problem solved. I'm running low. You cannot get the subdue. That's okay, Verge can get the subdue. You can just reload. Reloaded. And then I don't think we have to do anything. Uh, can I get... Let's get over to high cover, I guess, just in case something unforeseen goes wrong here, but it's hard to imagine what, what that would be. Is under arrest. Okay, between encounters, if an agent has taken major damage, they will heal back up to half HP. Good to know. Which means there's another encounter. Oh, uh, I mean, I guess we knew that. It says two of three in the corner. Okay. They must be Not ideal. Supplies in the next room. If you recover a sample, we can find where they're coming from. Along with Grey Phoenix. They are more than ready for a last stand. Yeah, we should definitely pull in this guy. Uh, so we don't have anything we can equip on him. Just, yeah, just get in here. So... So, the security door, we did bring a keycard. There are fewer aggressive enemies present at this entrance. I think I'm willing to spend a resource. Oh, nobody. We don't have the keycard. It was Zephyr who had the keycard, wasn't it? Well, that's not great. Uh, Verge in. Then Hound, then Torque? Probably probably then Torque, then Hound. Reaching. I am not doing super hot here. This is, this is not going as well as I might have hoped. Alright, we have a big scary Legionnaire. I think let's let's see if we can just drop him. Then we can levitate somebody else, maybe. Okay, well he's at least arrestable now. But see, this is the moment when we have to make the decision, which is pretty not ideal. All right, I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm just gonna levitate him. We're gonna cancel out his attack. We're gonna get that arrest. All right, a dominator does definitely sound like a problem. I mean, it would be better for us to get rid of snakes. These adders, like poisoning people, is a bad time. But we're so much less likely to be able to do that. Alright, let's see if you can finish it. I think that was the right thing to do there. Alright, so the robot has a point of armor. I figured it was right to put it on the robot because I'm going to feel a little bit less bad having the robot stand out in the open. 
but I don't know. Maybe maybe I should have put it on somebody to uh, make it more likely that we would maintain our health. So... We have an adder moving soon. I mean, it doesn't actually say fight people. It says acquire stolen supplies. But I think we should probably clear out some of these enemies at least. Arrested the target. Right, not much we could have done about that. Fortunately, it didn't work out for him. What do we do? You can't even make it to the thing in a single action. That really sucks. Uh, I think we... We don't want to go for the double mental ability. We definitely want to run to cover. So... Man, this Legionnaire is a real danger. Maybe he's the one we use our ability on rather than hitting the Adder? Well, we, we can just leave... We can leave Tark to deal with him. I think we're gonna we're gonna go for the stupor rather than the battle madness. Well, all right. One stun at least prevents him from doing a run up in melee attack. No, apparently it doesn't. That's not at all how that works. Fortunately, Torque is immune to poison. Uh, so Torque can. Tork can move to a position and tongue lash this guy, maybe? I will be able to try to hit him from here. So I think what we do is hit this, acquire the stolen supplies, go for the tongue lash into bind. Slithering. This is this is a very high value sequence if it works. Alright, we got our stolen supplies back. I'm assuming, yeah, now we'll, we'll be given an extract. But that said, I think it would be a bad idea to attempt an extract right now. Can I not attempt? There we go. 45%. Pretty bad. This went for the shot instead, and it... Well, it technically hit. Getting a lot of grazes. Wow. That is... That is considerable luck right there. Uh, so I'm real worried about this Python's turn. I think I'm gonna... I'm just gonna run over here and shoot this adder in the back. Kind of exposing Hound on purpose a little bit, just hoping to draw some attention. Really? You only have an 85% chance to hit from there? Man, we gotta get better robots. Well, that's not what I wanted to happen. Alert. Ally down. Wow! Three damage! I thought Bind was supposed to do minor damage. That was as much as an assault rifle burst. Well... Oof, I can't, I can't stand in the tile that he's in. If the mission ends while he's down, we still we still get it, right? So maybe my play here is ignore him and just run for the exit. Cover me. Not where I'd go. So we got reinforcements coming in and everything like you drop this adder, we could possibly drop that python, but I think this is this is the more pressing concern. That was supposed to be her breaking the wind. It didn't quite work, but that was supposed to be her breaking that window. Uh, I mean, the other thing I could do is run over, stabilize, and then bind, but that doesn't help Torque make it out, right? So if we do this, we leave the Legionnaire in the room with nobody to really shoot at. And maybe I should just go for the, uh, for the stabilize. Just in case it doesn't work the way I want it to. They run in here and just do the bind. No, the bind is probably wrong. Run in here and just take the shot. Covering ground. 
I thought, I thought before we were able to move and stabilize, and maybe that was a dash move into a stabilize. All right, well, you're in a position where you can escape on your next turn already. I think we're going to have him run in and just put some damage up. We're not going to be able to get a kill here, but... Oh, wow, that's a really, like, a horrible time for a miss. Really, really awful. Please tell me you're somehow bind proof because of your own bindy powers. Nope. Okay, well, we need to disengage in a real hurry. So Godmother's going to have to land a shot from the exit. Which we might be able to do. What is the what is the hit percentage on this? Ooh, it's real bad. A flashbang, I bet, would break the bind. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. This will not, in fact, cause damage to a friendly. My units are unaffected. This this thing should definitely not pop up. Tossing flash. Okay, that did exactly what we needed it to do. Also, throwing flash grenade. Free action, apparently. So I could have just, could have just shot him, but you know. We couldn't have been sure. I spent 50, I spent 50 supplies there, I think, or 50 credits, rather, for a little bit of certainty, and I don't feel that that was a bad use of resources. That said, if I had flashbanged more aggressively in the early going here, maybe it wouldn't have been necessary for us to stabilize Verge, and so I should try to, I should, I should stop trying to be so careful with our resources and just use the things we build when it makes sense to use them. A real bad habit of trying to be like resource efficient all the time in ways that sometimes end with me being less resource efficient. Well, we made it. Yeah, the, uh, the way you want to engage with these encounters is definitely different than the way you engage with stuff in, in proper XCOM. I gotta, I gotta unlearn some habits here. Especially since there seem to be so many situations in this game where the enemies are infinite and you just need to do a thing and get. Alright, well, we accomplished stuff. We also took a lot Excellent of damage. Work. With their influence reduced... Grey Phoenix won't be able to operate in plain sight. Alright, well, we're making progress on our investigation here. So, we got some promotions available. The protest of the Starport's closure grew contentious as several terrestrial supremacist groups arrived to counter protest. Said Artisan Glorva of the Shipworkers League. These people share the beliefs of those who killed Mayor Nightingale. They seek to provoke us while well, the city does nothing. A masked spokesperson from Earth Above All insisted otherwise. Alien pilgrimage? They want access to armed starships inside that port. Of course we're here to say otherwise. More as the story develops. This is Celio Dash for Channel 37. Alright, so... Last stand seems pretty good. If she would bleed out, instead she doesn't bleed out and also gets a free gets a new turn that seems phenomenal flush also is probably very good oh man that's a tough one it's like you could play better and not need last stand i think that's probably what's making the decision here is i could i could just play in a way that makes it makes last stand not so necessary but flush is a thing that's going to be hard to replicate and pushing enemies out into the open is going to help us in so many different ways. Although, who says we actually have the actions free to do a thing like this? Alright, what did you get? You got weakened. HP reduced by 3. Yow, that is really rough on her in particular. So Zephyr attacks any enemy that enters or attacks from melee range. Seems pretty good. Melee attacks that would deal lethal damage instead render enemies unconscious. Oh, that's interesting. So... 
That would make her melee attack deal so much damage that it will it will one-shot a fair number of enemies. And always get us like I This will even work on the uh, on the breach and stuff. This seems very powerful. Lockdown does not give you a free attack against enemies that are leaving melee range. So one of the ways you would use the version of this thing that existed in XCOM 2 was you would just run your agent adjacent to a bunch of dudes and then, you know, trigger parry or whatever it is you need to do to be tough. And then when people tried to, I, they would either have to attack you or get away and then attack you and you just chop them all up. Uh, with Lockdown letting people run away, I think I'm going to go Pressure Point instead. This is not so much a combat buff as it is a long-term resource gain buff um, and maybe a dangerous thing to do when she has 5 HP. But I think it's better in the long term. And what does your scar do? Crit chance reduced. Honestly, that one's not so bad. Especially on Verge, who spends a lot of his actions doing things that are not shooting. Okay, yeah, that I mean that could have gone a lot As better. As you've experienced, Grey Phoenix is surprisingly coordinated and disciplined. Discover what keeps them bound together. All right, that's a reasonable strategy, and we will attempt to apply it next time, because that has got to be it for us for today. This one got away from me a little bit, but I wanted to just do one more operation, because these are super fun. Uh, so, thank you all so much for watching. Come back next time, tomorrow, for the episode where I start playing better. It, that's, that's what it's going to be, and we'll see you then.